How can I explain to you what it feels like to use this 200 lightweight scout rifle? The best way I can explain it, imagine Mida multi-tool and every time you pull the trigger, sizzling bacon smell erupts from the barrel. That is the equivalent of how it feels to play with this scout rifle called Patron of Lost Causes. Now fellas, this is the Sundial scout rifle. No lie, I didn't think much about it when I saw it. I thought it looked good, which is pretty much all these sundial weapons. They all look fantastic, but I didn't think much about it until our good friend here, Toby, reached out to me and sent me some screenshots of just straight nasty. So today, guys, we're going to talk about this scout rifle in both PvE and PvP. And I will say, if there ever was a time to use a scout rifle other than last season to get Randy, this season, there's so much in favor of scout rifles. You've got artifact mods that are benefiting the flinch. You've got enhanced rifle loader mods, which increases the hell out of that reload speed and of course you got things like guardian angel i'm not saying that this entire season is designed to prop up patron of lost causes but if it was if bundy came out right now and said hey everything we did this season was to make that scout rifle right there an absolute monster i would believe it first up guys let's take a look at these rolls and they are nasty again i'm throwing it out there and i haven't said nasty that much here lately but not much has been hitting the nasty barrel first up toby here actually sent me two rolls the first row he sent me was an arrowhead break, which also has hammer forge underneath it, steady rounds, full auto, and explosive payload. Now I looked at it and thought, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty potent. Full auto on a 200 round per minute scout is very nice. It's not like 260s. See, 260s, things like Randy, as well as Symmetry, you have to have god tier perks in order to make sure your rate of fire doesn't outrun the recoil, which is why so many people don't actually full auto their 260 round per minute scout rifle. They just time fire. A 200, though, is that sweet sweet spot it's that sweet spot that you could sit there and lay on the trigger with the perk like full auto and still remain consistent could be a number of factors the weapons naturally have pretty high aim assist patron of lost cause here has a 67 aim assist stat which is not bad not as good as like mida but in comparison to our other lightweight scout rifles it's pretty much right there in the middle now i thought that roll was pretty good and then toby just turned around and blasted my ass with this one right here corkscrew rifling steady rounds rapid hit and explosive payload mother of god now as far as i know there's only one other scout rifle in the game that can roll with that perk combination and that is of course night watch and night watch is pretty good we did like a rise of scout rifle video about three four months ago going over the best scout rifles in the game and night watch was up there at the top of the list patron is not necessarily going to dethrone something like night watch but i'd say guys these weapons man they are like neck and neck night watch has a couple of things that's better than it in terms of base default stats but these weapons are so similar to each other and they're both present in that kinetic slot. Now, first up, let's just go over what the god roll would be for something like Patron of Lost Causes before we get into what the best scout rifle is between the both of these. Right off the bat, that rapid hit explosive payload combo is great for everything. It's fantastic for PvE, especially considering you can get anti-barrier rounds on your scout rifles this season. And I think you can apply unstoppable rounds as well, but I want to say it's bugged. Somebody let me know if that's true or not. But that perk combination is pretty nice. But even something like full auto with explosive payload i felt just fine with that like granted i did like rapid hit the stability bump was extremely nice and especially that increase in reload speed which pretty much benefited us in all activities but if you just wanted to be lazy if you wanted to sit there and lay on the trigger from sun up to sundown full auto is pretty good i mean the weapon has pretty good base stats all on its own there was not one moment that i was using full auto especially in pve that i felt like i was really hurting myself by not using rapid hit but of course most of you guys probably don't want to just lay on the trigger some of you like to be as optimal as you possibly can which if that's the case hands down rapid hit is the best trait in that column now in that final column there really is no damage dealing perks you've got vorpal weapon you got explosive payload osmosis and then down there beneath it you've got elemental capacitor if you just wanted to get above to things like handling reload speed or increased stability really out of all of these i would choose either explosive payload or osmosis and maybe even osmosis over explosive payload and don't get me wrong i really like explosive payload especially for pvp listen guys you got a lot of people running around right now with arbalists and i've been shooting them with all kinds of guns for the past week and arbalists gives no shits about flinch no 
done. Which is honestly why I've been getting so frustrated here lately. If you see me on Twitter, I'm bending a bunch. It's because I just popped two hand cannon shots off into an Arbalist user and he still domed me. And this isn't just Arbalist. Some snipers can do this. Arbalist is just one of the more common ones as of now. And with the target acquisition buff, it's even easier to do that. The beautiful thing about Patron of Lost Causes, that explosive payload perk combined with rapid hit was messing up so many people inside of PvP. But back to my PvE users, between Osmosis and Explosive Payload, that's pretty much the two traits I would go for. And again, in burn activities, Osmosis is a fantastic perk, guys. Don't overlook it. And a World War Swashbuckler and Rampage and all those things has had their buff percentages nerfed. Being able to match burn here with something as simple as Osmosis automatically gives you a leg up over all of those perks, which is why I would probably go for like two rolls, right? One with Explosive Payload for Ultimate Flinch, the other one with Osmosis. Now for PvP, this is a lightweight scout. It is not the most optimal time to kill weapon by any means. It currently right now has a 0.9 second TTK value at 3 crits and 1 body, hitting at 54 per crit and 31 per body. Of course, this damage right here is split because of explosive payload. Now, like I just said a second ago, the biggest benefit to this weapon is the sheer amount of flinch that it does to enemies. And I'm sure some of you already know what I'm talking about. If you have a night watch with explosive payload, you've probably already witnessed how much flinch that actually imposes on enemies. Patron here of Lost Causes was actually giving me a fighting chance. It was enabling me to fight fight against those laners and win. Wasn't a trade, I was winning. Which I know I'm really emphasizing how much I hate the laning Larrys here recently, but it's been pretty bad. The amount of Arbalest users that are just sitting in the back of spawns, waiting for you to peek, it's really difficult to challenge those guys. And what's so crazy is that Patron here might actually be the formula to root those guys out. Overall, I was very much pleased with the Scout Rifle. I thought it handled itself well. I do believe that Rapid Hit, even inside of PvP, is definitely the go-to perk, especially when combined with Explosive Payload. And out of all of the perks here, I would definitely choose Explosive Payload in that column. Yes, you can go something like Vorpal Weapon, which does increase damage to Guardians in their super. But if I'm going to be rocking a perk like Vorpal Weapon, I want to save that for a weapon I know will one-shot versus a Scout Rifle. Now, that's not to say that Vorpal on the Scout Rifle can't three-tap. I'm pretty sure it can. So just keep that in mind. If you do happen to get another roll here with Vorpal, well, you might as well keep it. Get posted up in something like Widow's Court and wait for people to pop their supers. Again, I have not tested this perk extensively, but just based Based on what I've been told, it's speculated that Patron here with Vorpal can 3-tap supers. Now, as far as your magazine perks, I know you probably saw me using Steady Rounds. I think anything in that column, Steady Rounds, Accurized Rounds, Appendant Mag, Tactical Mag, all of those will do you just fine. I will say, considering that most of our maps, even though some of them are spread out like Widow's Court, the lanes themselves and the cutoff points are very confined. That even a scout rifle like this with nothing loaded out in range is not going to experience dramatic drop-off. So even for my PC users if you want to spec for something like steady rounds go right ahead load out that stability stat combine with something like rapid hit that reticle should remain super stable now is patron of lost causes the best legendary scout rifle currently and does it dethrone something like night watch first up I very much enjoy the roles, and it definitely has some unique factors about it that gives it a leg up over something like Nightwatch. Osmosis, especially in burn activities, but Nightwatch also has some very unique things on it. Things like rapid hit with multi kill clip, demolitionist, and you still have the options of explosive payload, rampage, moving target. There's a lot of good things in that column. Pretty much everything in that column is super juicy, as well as everything in that first column. In terms of just comparing these scout rifles, field to field, I think Patriot of Lost Cause might be my favorite filling scout rifle. I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's the gun model. I know when I compare stat to stat here, these weapons are almost identical. Matter of fact, Nightwatch might actually have a little better stats than something like Patriot of Lost Causes. But for some reason, Patron felt amazing. And it's not like I haven't played with Nightwatch in a while. I just reviewed it. So Patron to me is a better filling scout rifle. No, it doesn't have the options to things like multi-kill clip, rampage, and some of our other lethal perks here. But it also has its own set of lethality with its own unique perk combinations it may not be the best legendary scout rifle in the game but it sure beats the hell out of oxygen right boys right i'm sorry i shouldn't have but no lie it's a very good scout rifle i think it's a contender and if i had to remake my top scout rifles in destiny without a doubt patron of lost causes would be on that list somewhere there's no way in hell i wouldn't put it on that list and in this current sandbox with the amount of laning larrys that we have in the game right now this simple scout rifle with rapid hit and 
explosive payload was putting in work. And surprisingly, this was probably the most fun I've had in Crucible in like the past week outside of Marty. Well, guys, that is our review here for this scout. Again, this is the Sundial Scout Rifle. Not even sure which Sundial it comes from. It's either the EDZ Sundial or the Nessus one. I don't know. One of those guys. I can't remember off the top of my head. But try it out for yourselves. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.